Good afternoon, praise God, praise God. It is a back, it's actually three o'clock, so praise God, praise God. Let me get straight into it. Um, I really need you all to press tag and share. Um, you know, I just don't get on here. So, okay, everybody should have got the alert by now, okay? And um, I have some serious things to say. It's not a game, it's not for, let me go ahead and do that disclaimer. It's not for, you know how people, they see something, they take advantage of it for likes, um, whatever the case may be. I, I don't get all into it, but y'all know what I'm saying. What I am saying is authentic because I didn't want to get up on here, <laughs> especially at three o'clock in the afternoon. Cause actually I, I was actually finishing my book um, called Slow Ties. Well, it's around that, it's a different title, but I'll say it afterwards. But um, here's the deal, something big happened today and that's the only reason I'm up on here because when God says get on here and tell you guys, then I mandated. But not just that, it really blew me back because I'm like, God, everything you said is truly coming to pass. So, y'all know we got all got the presidential alert, right? I, I, I know. Turn your phone off. What well, does it matter? You're not gonna hurt anybody because guess what? They're gonna do what they have to do. So everybody got the presidential alert. Now I want y'all to know, did anything happen today? So I want y'all use common sense. Nothing happened. So why did we get an alert? Right, FEMA is the one that actually, FEMA was the one that actually, um, you know, gave it out, wanted the president to do it. Why? Why did FEMA do that? All right, let's go. Several, I don't know how many years I've been telling you all about martial law. I've been telling you all what's getting ready to come. And I know, I know it's like doom and gloom. I know it's like things you don't want to hear. Can I tell you something? I'm the one that have the visions and have to say it. How do you think I feel? I'm going to be very transparent because you need that transparency at this moment. It is frightening. It is scary when you hear things of this nature, what I'm getting ready to say. It's like, oh, I don't want to hear that. But for a true Christian, a true warrior that say they love God, this is something we got to hear. Not only we have to prepare. So before I even begin, this is for preparation because I'm going to be honest with you. America play too much. Churches play too much. Everybody think it's a game. People, it's not a game. And I'm not trying to get on here and scare you or take advantage of a situation. Pete, truth be told. They have finished. That alert you came today, this is a dust said the Lord. This ain't me just thinking or trying to be woo deep. I heard it twice before I got on here. They are finished, you guys. That presidential alert that went off today, they finished preparing, y'all, for martial law and everything. They're finished. And one thing about the elite, they always make a, a entrance because that's where they are. They, they are the lead. They're finished. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and read my title. FEMA called for this testing. It begins. New world order. They are finished with their preparations. Notice what I said. They are finished with their preparations. America, this is for the whole wide world. Church of God, I pray that you guys are ready. Because to be honest with you, most people aren't. You just trying to get paid and trying to, you guys, America is, is about not to, it's not going to look the same and, and it's not. I don't know the time frame. Don't quote me because when I, when I do tell y'all, y'all be acting like, oh, she didn't say it. No, 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 no. Everything I've said, except him coming back to office, yet, has yet to come true. I said yet because some of y'all, well, it didn't happen. I don't care what they did because I'm going to be honest with you. Since we talking, since we talking about the whole thing. So a lot of you, when Obama didn't stay in office, just let, let me just put it out there. Oh, well, you said something. No, 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 no. I don't care how they shook, shook it, drive it, whatever. I know what's going to come. And remember, I said it. <laughs> because New World's art is coming. Martial law is coming. Persecution of the church is already here, just on a down low. Things are getting better to happen. That's going to blow y'all mind back. And that's why I get on here with so much passion, anger, righteous anger, trying to warn you guys, because I want to make sure that I've done my job before God. I, I ain't tripping on what y'all think. I really ain't tripping. I've prepared my family. I'm trying to prepare you guys. And, I, and the, you know what was so crazy? Well, my uncle got it. I'm doing even, and I don't mind. I hope, I hope you don't mind me saying it. Uncle Charles don't even rule like that. Uncle Charles old school. But when he says something, let me tell y'all, and, and I hope you don't mind me sharing it, but I'm sharing it. This was about maybe a week and a half ago. He said, I, I said, you be putting out your videos. He said, be careful. I said, what you talking about, um? He said, you be putting, you know, stuff for Hollywood. I hear how they come after people. I said, okay, since I've warned everybody else, let me tell you. And I'm telling you as a disclosure, 
I'll never kill myself because that's how they like to do it. Make it look like you got you committed suicide or something. I'll Deanna Dixon. I never. I, I've been to too much stuff. Seven times, six times, had, had guns to my head. And shoot, shoot. I ain't never been scared to die. Come on, somebody. But I'll never kill myself. That's what I told him. Because guess what? I know I'm a target, and I keep I, I keep trying to tell y'all I ain't scared. I'm going to tell you right now, because when I was out there doing what I was doing, I wasn't scared then. Ain't no sense being scared for the truth now. Hallelujah, because that's what we do. Come on, somebody, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost, because Jesus is for we live, and Jesus is for we die. But this for real people. See, if you scared, that's because you ain't right. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. If you scared, that's because you ain't got no relationship with Jesus. If you scared, that means you don't understand what this is about. If you scared, hallelujah, ain't nobody scared. So I, I, I proceed to tell them, if anything happens, I live my life. Don't worry about me. I, I promise you I'm going to heaven. How do I know? Because I live it. I'm not perfect. But that's all I got is God. And all I want to do is just do his mission. I, I, I ain't trying to get rich. I don't care if y'all like me. I don't care if I'm famous. I don't care if I'm not. I, I really don't care. Because when I, when, when, hallelujah, I want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Not you had a million followers. Not, oh, they liked you. Oh, no, 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 no. Because that really ain't going to matter, truth be told. Did I do what he told me to do, even in the face of adversity? Even, I mean, honestly, and, and I'm going to tell y'all some things right now because I want y'all to see how real it is. About a month and a half ago, I was in Augusta. Remember when I went to visit Augusta? Some of you follow me. Do y'all know I got a phone call from somebody? I didn't even share this. I'm finna share it now because I, I, I'm trying, not trying to schedule. I'm trying to get you to see how real it is. Somebody called, right? And I usually don't answer calls. I don't know, but it was from a South Carolina number. So I called and they said, hey, Deanna, Apostle. And I thought it was a student that somebody gave my number, which I was going to be mad because I don't play that. And I thought I knew the person because they started laughing like, oh, Apostle Deanna. So I started laughing too. You know, I'm just silly like that. And I'm thinking I know the person. And then all of a sudden they got serious. They said, wouldn't it be a shame if you caught a heart attack and died? And I had my phone on speaker. So the person with me, they heard it. And they just looked and I looked. I said, don't get scared. They do this all the time. Y'all don't know how much they threaten me. Y'all don't even understand how they've come into my home or where I'm at. Y'all think it's a game? I've been by myself, and all of a sudden, I hear somebody in the hallway. Do what you're going to do. I ain't scared. Y'all think this a game. And for you that think it's a game, I feel sorry for you because this is not a game. So why? Because I tell the truth. Why? Because I say things I shouldn't say, like Illuminati, what they have to or and the short time that I spent in Hollywood, I found out some things and I know some things because they tried to offer me to sell my soul and I said no. So I'm a threat. Then what you all don't know a little bit more is before my college years, well actually during my college years, I worked for the FBI. Not knowing, I was hearing things. There was only three of us worked for the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Glencoe, Georgia. It was only three blacks. I was one of the three blacks. I heard things and saw things I didn't understand, but I understand them now. Hallelujah, you don't hear what I just said. I understand them today, so that makes me dangerous because I know what I know. I didn't understand it then, but I, all the puzzles, you know how they put the puzzle together. Hallelujah. So nobody trying to scare nobody. I'm telling you, they're here. What do they want to do? They don't like Christians. This is Satan's world. They want Jesus Christ gone. They want his legacy gone. They want his name gone. They want his children gone. If we can't get rid of y'all, we're going to kill y'all. If we can't kill y'all, we're going to prison y'all. FEMA camps. Oh, come on, somebody. I ain't got time to, 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 to sugarcoat everything. That's why I've been on here with so much passion. Honestly, and truth be told, don't cry for me whenever what happened to me, which I've seen it, by the way, and I ain't scared. They know I ain't scared because I tell them all the time, make your move. Hallelujah, I'm going to God. Hallelujah, y'all hear what I'm saying. Don't cry for me. I'm trying to do my job before. Make sure y'all understand, this is real. Don't be scared. Yes, it's scary. But when you fall in love with Jesus Christ for real, and you say, God, keep me. God, strengthen me. God, don't let me walk in fear. Because uh, let me tell you something. That's what they're trying to do. Now, I'm going to touch on a lot of stuff right now. With the Bill Cosby thing, that's, that's just not to put Bill Cosby in jail. I hope y'all know that, right? This is about legacy. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going around. I'm going to come back to the subject. It's about legacy. And, I, and sorry, I know they got different nationalities on here. This is about black people legacy. That's the that's the break the black man, even more so. Because guess what? And I just might as well tell you. Martial law, they already know. 
you got you got a certain rednecks that's caucasian people that ain't finna give up their gun or you're gonna have to kill them or you got some blacks they ain't finna give and blacks are powerful rednecks are powerful y'all get where i'm going with this so i gotta break them down that's why all these killings been happening to black people oh come on somebody y'all thought and hold on that ain't just happening those are hits i said it before those are hits started with trayvon martin that's a hit baby oh come on somebody and why you think he walked think this a game this a hit they not playing y'all playing they ain't playing so everything is calculated by them. We got to put so much fear that they don't believe in God. Why God this happening? We have evolved back into biblical times. And I told y'all that the other day. What, is, what am I saying? The same trials that the apostles and disciples went through, which are the same, is the same trials that we're getting ready to go through, especially those that believe in the law of thy God. I'm just letting you know. Now, if you ain't really with God, you ain't got to worry because you're going to sell out anyway. Oh, come on, somebody. You're going to take that chip in your right hand or your forehead anyway. Oh, come on, somebody. Revelation is here. That's what I'm saying. Revelation is here. Don't be scared now. <laughs> come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what do we do, Apostle? You get closer to God like never before. You get close to your family. That's why I say all this bickering. You see, they're chanting. I'm trying to slow down with this thing because I feel the power of God. The anointing is real, just like witchcraft is real. I've been telling, talking to y'all about that. They're more powerful because they're sacrificing kids. Y'all know they had 300-something thousand kids missing just last year. Where them kids gone? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all think this a game? This ain't no game. They sacrificing. This world is becoming more evil because this is his time. This is his moment. What time? The Antichrist. And guess what? The main one is about to be in position. He will rule all nations, all land. And yeah, I'm talking about him. I don't even like saying his name because his name means Lord. Okay, so 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 don't play with me. I don't care what color. If you serve the devil, it does not matter. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let me tell you how you're going to make it through this thing. Get close to God. Stop tripping. Stop acting like money is all you after. A game, a name, fame. Because when all this stuff, we're not even going to have social media. You don't understand what's getting ready to happen. When these people really lay down the law, they might let social media, but everything's going to be monitored. Pretty much like it's monitored right now. Come on, somebody. Y'all should know that this the FBI did that. That man didn't do that in the. Come on, somebody. Y'all know that man didn't do that, right? I hope you know. He did not create Facebook like this, like you think. This was to give them information, and we did. I did it too, taking them selfies, letting them know who our family is. I mean, we, as a matter of fact, Google the um. They have a, a, a comment that they put out. The CIA. Thank you for giving us all the information that it would have took years together because that's what we did, you know. And and I was, I, I should have known because I have friends that are in the military. They don't have no social media accounts. Y'all ain't ready for me. Got friends that don't have none. That used to work for the FBI. All this starting to connect. Why they don't like capacity on Dixon? Okay, so let me get back to the thing. You have to love God with all your heart. Begin to obey God. If God said don't do it, don't do it. If God said don't go here, they send in plants in. What is plants? People that's pretending to be Christians. I can't tell you how many have came into my life. And they always have lots of money and they just want to help you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Every last one of them was plants. And I treated them like they came. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, yeah, yeah. I played them just like they played me. I'm going to keep it real. Oh, you want to play crazy? Let me show you who I am for real. Because I love the Lord thy God. Don't, I don't care how much money you got. If you are a demon, you are a demon. And if you're trying to get me caught up because you didn't told, took some money or sold me for not, because that's what they're doing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, back in the biblical times, they had to really search for the Christians. Y'all remember this? Now they ain't got to search for us. I.e., Ain't nothing but a tracker. Listen to everything, even if it's also. That's why I didn't understand how you, I'm going to turn it off. Y'all being naive. It doesn't matter. All this. You know, I had this dream when I was younger. I didn't even know. I didn't know I was a prophet. I dreamed all this when I was 27 years old. Even what's happening today. I did not understand it. I understand it today. I, I remember I used to dream the um, graveyards opening. Didn't understand God was talking about porters. You know how they do all of them things about the dead people? You guys, I don't know where it's at. I keep seeing a building. With, they actually have made people zombies. You guys, what's getting ready to happen is eventually hell on earth. 
and God is getting ready to allow it because America has forgotten their God. A lot of people don't like when I say that. I'm just being real. I'm telling you what does say the Lord. America has forgotten their God. America is so selfish. Y'all, y'all complain about this and that. Some people ain't got no food. Some people ain't got no no water. Some people homeless, and y'all always complain. Want more, more, more. Even in the church. Oh, I want to be famous now. You got pastors that don't, that, oh, I'm about to go here. I feel the power of God. Let me tell you something. You got pastors that can't tr preach the truth because they bound. They bound by the 5013C, but they bound because they in bed with the same people, those stations. You can't get on them stations if you will, not if you real, real. They might let you once or twice, but if you have the anointing and your anointing can break off the masses, you can't get on them. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how this is going on. Huh? This is just the truth. So today marks the beginning of what they call a new world order. They are finished. Things are going to start happening. I'm going to tell you what I've said for seven and eight years. I see them. This is what the God has shown. Not a pot so Deanna just making up stuff. I ain't got time to do that. I keep seeing martial law when it happens. It's going to be like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. They're going to wait till everybody lethargic. Straight up. They're going to wait till you lethargic. And they're coming in. Some people, they shooting on sight. Some people going to FEMA camps. Some people, God going to tell you the night before. And I've already told y'all, keep a backpack. I've told y'all, I, I, I've said it so much. As a matter of fact, I don't care what nobody says. I feel like I'm a pioneer because I, I started I started people and now they're doing videos and stuff. And, and, and good job, all right, because I'm not trying to be the savior. No, no, we're supposed to be together in unity. I keep telling y'all, get armed. I'm not trying to, I'm just, I, I got to say what God said. I don't care how it looks to people or what it sounds like. There's going to be no food. Just like that stuff that's going on around there. I'm not kidding. I've been telling y'all, get some cans good. Start saving them. Cause God start saving y'all some water. Get some first aid kits. I've been telling you guys for years. And some of y'all think it's a game. And a lot of people say, well, I don't have the money like that. Do what you can. But mostly get close to God. Spend time with your family. I have told every family member what they, well, I think they start believing me though. They first thought I was crazy. Oh, I've told them. Something happened to me. Don't worry about me. God have already showed me. And I ain't scared. They know I ain't scared. What? Oh, yes. And it ain't a game. Hallelujah to his name. God has prepared me for years. It's been five years, God told me. This is what's going to happen. This is how it's going to happen. I said, I welcome it. Hallelujah to his name. He died for us. That's why I ain't scared, y'all. But you got to prepare. Because if not, fear will try to creep in. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Only you and your flesh. Get close to your family. Forgive people. Try to live a righteous life. You can't, Money ain't going to be able to stop this. And prayer is not going to stop this. A lot of people, well, we can pray it away. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Judgment has already been sealed. This is in the book of Revelations. These things must happen. These things are going to happen. And God has something against the churches. Y'all have not been teaching the truth because y'all are scared. And I'm going to tell you why, and this is not an excuse for them. You know why? It's not just the 5013C. They know the people capable of. Them people kill your whole family. Y'all remember, I don't know the last names of the white couples that got killed this year. Y'all remember the whole family? Even the one recently, they say that he, he clicked and he killed everybody. You guys, that's M it's MK Ultra. These people are not just doing this. Who does that? They have everything going for them. Even the chef, Andrew Bourdain. Man, I don't know who he pissed off. Y'all don't understand. I know people. These people were happy people. But you mess and you piss off the wrong person. Maybe I shouldn't say pissed off. I'm sorry. Make someone upset. You would disappear, you and your family. And so people are more afraid to die than to live for Christ. To me, it makes you a coward. And now that's the and you please share this and tell them I said it. You a coward. Hallelujah. I'm so glad Jesus Christ wasn't a coward. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He looked them dead in his face. And he, and he even had empathy for them. He said, forgive them for they know not what they do. Hallelujah. But he wasn't scared. You have a church that's scared. Scared to die for righteousness. Scared to preach righteousness. Scared to witness righteousness. Scared to tell the truth to the people. Because you scared them people. No, no you ain't scared. You know. Especially if you sign that FEMA contract. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say some things that y'all ain't going to like. I'm going to go ahead and prepare you, so go ahead. When they was at T.D. Jake's church about three four years ago, getting all these pastors to prepare, 
Y'all wanna hear what I'm saying? Yeah, Google that too. Yeah, there was. Some of them signed them contracts. So now they can't they can't say nothing. They can't even talk about gays. Now actually every church is under that law. This was about several years ago. It passed through California first. They can't talk about homosexuality in the pulpit. They can't y'all wonder why they, they can't. And they scared to because they signed that paperwork. So now if they do, and, and you'd be surprised how many are monitored, how many they send people just like the pastor in Houston. They they told them, they told her, actually it was a she. They said, we need that sermon from that Sunday when you talked about, and, and they hit her with a big fine. John Heggie, keep $100,000 fines. So you understand what's happening. A lot of people don't have that money to pay them fines. So what's happening, if they keep on doing it or if they do it, they can take the whole church. So you rather have your church than to preach the truth. That's why Apostle Deanna Dixon do not reign in a church. That's why I give conferences. That's why I don't want no 5013C. When I was in Louisiana, these grant writers that came out of nowhere, oh, we rent you. I don't need no grant. I'm cool. But you don't have this and you don't have that. I'm cool. You know what I do have that's more powerful than anything? My voice. Hallelujah to his name. I can preach and teach the truth. I am not bound by anybody or anything. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I ain't trying to break. That's just what it is. I heard God. No. No, no. There were about at least two Caucasian men that came up to me and wanted to give me churches in California. God said, no, I didn't even know why I was saying no, tell you the truth. But now I do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Get close to God in this hour. Listen. Be alert. Just like you was alert for that presidential alert. Y'all don't think it's odd? Ain't nothing happening? Come on, man. This is, oh, thank you, Lord. Remember their slogan. They hide in plain sight. This is not, that's how they do it. They, they, they do stuff right then. Y'all be like, oh, the movies. Y'all think, they show y'all what they get ready to do. Hunger Games. All these games. The best one that I can tell you right now was getting ready to happen is The Colony on Netflix. FEMA, FEMA camps. Well, FEMA houses. And they all got to go through this. They got to put, thank you, Lord. We're getting ready to be communists. And I'm not kidding. They want to rule the world, and God will let them have it. And Christians will turn back to God. As a matter of fact, some people won't get saved when this happens because when they realize and see that all that working, all that stuff they were doing, is nothing. Because one way you're going to have to serve God, one way or another. Y'all understand me, what I'm saying? I'm not trying to induce fear. I'm just giving wisdom, saying what thus saith the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And it hurts my heart because... So let me continue to tell y'all what I saw. I saw martial law happening at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Some people was getting killed on site. Some people was, a lot of people was going to FEMA camps. And some people went to hidings. Let me tell you why also I'm a danger. Through the teachings, my prophetic teachings, y'all know how I've been teaching on, online. I've met some people that have safe houses. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I can't talk about that. But some of you gonna have to hear God's voice because they have some people oh hallelujah I love this part what I'm getting ready to say there are some people that y'all don't even know about they've been waiting their whole life God didn't tell them to turn their whole houses to safe houses so they got canned goods they got water they got sleep arrangements they got everything as a matter of fact I'm telling you I saw a vision of this some of them just sitting in their chair waiting 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 don't even look at TV they just waiting 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 for it to go down waiting for it to go down and they're gonna know because the Holy Spirit gonna tell them it's getting ready to happen some of you going to have to run. I'm serious. And until it's your time. Because here's the deal. Some of you that's going to have to run, you're going to be witnessing to those people. God getting ready to come. You may die today. You may die tomorrow. Some of you are going to be in FEMA camps. And I know people don't want to. I know this is hard. I know this hard. Y'all. I want y'all to know that. But hey, soldiers, you real out there. You got to be real up in here for real. Some of you are going to be with, have to witness in FEMA camp. Now here you are. You're in a FEMA camp, prison. And they and hold on, this is not going to be your American prison. They're going to treat you like crap. You're going to have to be holy enough to keep other people believing and, and in faith and have hope. Do you understand what I'm saying for real? You're going to have to have strength to do that. You can do that only by the presence of God. You hear what I'm saying? I see major disasters happening. Remember I told y'all? I told y'all, um, they put a movie out, St. Andreas, St. Andreas, St. Andrea, something like that. And so I saw earthquake from the East Coast to the West Coast. Now I'm starting to see 
on YouTube that's, that they're saying that this is going to be divided this way. But I saw an earthquake. And hold on, wasn't your regular earthquake. I'm talking about millions died. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I see so much blood. You guys, this is real stuff. This is not to try to scare you for likes, for, man, please. I wish to God this wasn't true. There's so much things getting ready to happen. That's why I say love your family and be ready to meet your maker for real. Quit playing. If you're playing church, stop. If you're out there doing wrong, stop. You don't know when is your day, your moment, your time. Then I'm about to tell y'all something. You see, God is calling a lot of his children home right now. And a lot of you are depressed. You know why God calling them home. And some of you may not agree with what I'm getting ready to say. Some of them would have taken that mark. And so God say, come on, home. Oh, y'all ain't ready for the truth. Because the truth don't, don't sound good sometimes. Some of them would have taken the mark, you people. Oh, y'all ain't ready. So even in death, God saving people. So this ought to make your heart glad, some of you, that I've lost some people this year and will lose some more this year. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Ain't everybody going to be able to take what's coming. And God is still so good. Hallelujah to his name. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So now that God is telling me to talk about the end times again, I shall do that. But for a moment, he just wanted me to build you up in the holy faith. Build her up in the holy faith. Build them up in the holy faith. You can't stand this unless you have God all in you, through you. We can't do this by ourselves. There's just no way. The spirit of God has to be real in your life. You can't do this just going to church and perpetrating like most people doing. When this stuff take place, you have to be strong in the spirit. And then you got to know God's voice. Some of you don't know God's voice. You haven't spent time with God. It's time to spend time with God so you'll know his voice. When and where and how to move. In this season, you can't trust everybody. I'm telling you, they send in plants. What are plants? Let me reiterate that again. These are people that are pretending to be Christians that want to get close to you. For whatever reason. Maybe you are a danger. Maybe you have the anointing. Or maybe you just know somebody and know somebody and know somebody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. So, this is what I taught my class and I'm teaching you tonight this. Whenever I meet somebody... I say, God, show me who they are. Show me their spirit. I don't care about your mouth. Your mouth will lie all day long. Show me their spirit. I promise you, God, tell me. And sometimes I'm shocked. I'm like, they a whole plant, God? A whole plant? I said, hey, so they didn't take some money? or And you can always tell who they were. Because I don't want to say no names on here. I was shocked about two of them. I was real shocked. They thought I was sleeping. Oh, I'm going to tell it. I just think I can't say names. They thought I was sleeping that night. I wasn't sleeping. I don't know why God told me to play sleep, but you know, you know, I did. It's only supposed to be three of us in that house. I know I heard somebody in that back room. I said, wow. Then hold on. A stranger came up to me and said, God told me to tell you. They're trying to hurt you. Hold your tears now. You don't understand. One of them was with me. Her eye, and then I looked at her and said, there it goes. <laughs> the day after. A stranger. So don't tell me God won't send people to confirm. No, you're not crazy, honey. This stuff is real. A lot of people are not going to believe you. That's good, too. They're going to believe sooner or later. You can better believe that. Everybody can't get this message, and I get that. I get it. I get it. And I'm going to keep praying for the ones that don't get it. I'm going to keep praying for the ones that don't believe. I'm going to keep praying for the ones that are blinded. Because if you in sin, you can't hear me. You think I'm, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm going to pray for you too. Those that think this is funny, I'm going to pray for you too. Those that's not prepared, I'm going to pray for you too. Because when this stuff really, oh, I promise you, today that presidential alert, when I heard it, actually, when I heard that we was going to have it last month, I knew what time was. I said, Lord, it's close, huh? He said, yep. You guys, it is. It is. That's why I've been telling y'all get in shape, not just to look good. You don't know when you got to run. And I'll be real with you. you. You don't know when you have to defend yourself. Because so America is evil. Oh, I'm, I just got to say what God say, man. America is not America no more, man. It's not America no more. I'm telling you. Not on the Christian side. It was never a Christian country. But now they're letting this, let it be known. I mean, they, they kind of had their values, this and that. You know, we was founded on this and that. That's not how it's looking, huh? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm just here to tell you what does say the Lord, not trying to hurt you, scare you, but trying to prepare you, my brothers and sisters. Please listen. And if you don't believe me, which I challenge you to, go to God. Always ask God. 
And that's anybody. I don't care me, anybody. Say, God, show me. Now, nah, hold on. Don't be scared when he show you. Because he will show you. Oh, he will show you in a dream. Or even just your spirit. You, and you know how you know it's real? Your stomach start turning like, oh, man, this is real. It's real. And always ask God for confirmation. It doesn't matter. Like I said, it could be me, whomever. Always ask him for confirmation. So, ooh, I didn't know I was going to get on here and, and do all this. I thought I was going to just talk about the what the Holy Spirit was prompting me. So that's all I have to say concerning this right now. Please, please, please spend time with your family while you can. Be nice to people. I ain't saying be no fool, but start with all the anger. I mean, don't y'all understand the darkness is prevailing right now? That's why y'all see murdering. They want people to murder people. They want a hate spirit. It's, it's actually a spirit of rage. Because hate means I stay away from you. Rage, I want to hurt you. Haven't y'all seen this even in some of the videos on, on Facebook? Like, you know, you remember the neighbor put the mattress, the, the three Caucasian people, and they end up killing them? Come on. It's a spirit of rage. I got this gun and I want to use it. You have to ask God to protect you. Every day. Can I tell you something? I have a friend in Jamaica, and they said something to me. And I didn't like when they said it, but I'm going to leave you guys with this. He said, you guys are not safe in America. Can I tell you something? We're not. Every day I pray, God keep me. And if the time comes, no, when the time comes, let me be a strong woman of God to face it straight in his face. Hallelujah. And I pray the same thing for you. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is truly who you are. No fear. In Jesus Christ's name of Nazareth. Let's do this.